The head of the British Armed Forces has praised the American General Norman Schwarzkopf, who's died at the age of 78. Uh, General Sir David Richard said that his command in the first Gulf War displayed the finest qualities of American leadership. President Obama described him as an American original, as Richard Galpin reports now. Returning home to a hero's welcome, a triumphant General Schwarzkopf back in the United States after the victory in the first Gulf War. It's a great day to be a soldier and it's a great day to be an American. Thank you very much. The general had been overall commander of the large military coalition which pushed Saddam Hussein's forces out of Kuwait in 1991. Operation Desert Storm routing the Iraqi army in less than two months forcing it into a humiliating retreat. The United States honors the soldier who takes his place in history's role of great commanders. Following the general's death, George Bush Sr., who was president at the time, has issued a statement paying tribute, describing him as a true American patriot and one of the great military leaders of his generation going around or over and is that why there's little We're opposition going to go around over through on top underneath and any other way Have you gone he was also a big character known as Stormin Norman apparently because of his bluff fiery temperament and he became a household name thanks to these televised news conferences during the Gulf War later turning down offers to become a politician Instead, after retiring from the military 20 years ago, he started working for charities and other national causes, including promoting awareness of prostate cancer, for which he himself was treated. But having survived cancer, his family say he died yesterday from complications arising from pneumonia.